Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Musgrave. You might be familiar with the term valley fever. Maybe you've experienced the symptoms, fever, cough, headache. For most people, those symptoms are mild, but for some, they can cause major problems. For one Fresno man, it almost took his life. Shortness of breath. I was sweating and I was shaking and I was feeling a little hot and cold. Mm -hmm. And from that instant, I knew that something was wrong. Eric Fakarme went to the ER on a Friday night back in September. He fully expected to be back to work by Monday. Instead, it was it was out of my control. It was out of my hands. He was just very, very unwell and continuing to get worse in front of our eyes. Dr. Kinsley Hubel says Eric was dying. If I were to see one of my loved ones in that state, you know, I'd just probably lose it. His symptoms showed Eric was suffering from a severe case of valley fever. Valley fever is a fungal infection. It's a mold that lives in the soil, and when the soil is disturbed and dust is produced, people can breathe it in. While it's common in the Central Valley, very few people actually know they have it because it's typically mild, but it can be fatal. In Eric's case, the spores germinated in his body and caused pneumonia. This is the most severe valley fever case that I have personally taken care of. The team at Community Regional Medical Center needed to act quickly. They decided to put Eric on something known as ECMO, a type of life support that takes over function of the heart and lungs. So it's rare that we would put somebody with valley fever on ECMO. But for Eric, it worked, slowly but surely. I just had to push myself to get better. Eric stayed on ECMO for 24 days. His doctors say without it, he would have died. Things finally started to seem like they were going in the right direction, consistently. Eric stayed in the hospital for two months. Shocking, considering he'd expected to just need a weekend to recover. I was born and raised here, out here in the valley, and I've never had felt any of those symptoms before. Eric's lungs are still a little weak, and he'll likely need to continue treatment for a long time. But he's alive and grateful to his family, friends, and team at Community Regional for saving his life. I'm happy. It's like... I could run and jump up and click my heels together. Typical treatment for valley fever is similar to the flu. Just rest. Some cases require an antifungal medication. A weakened immune system and race could put you at greater risk. Those of Filipino or African heritage are considered more susceptible.